All right, I've decided to do an update on my turtle room. Didn't realize turning the phone sideways was going to make everybody have to turn their head sideways, so I'm going to redo it here. This time we got Lucky in the middle. He's my Boston Terrier. He's about eight, eight years old. Pretty cool dog. But anyway, as you can see, I got about six, six tanks in this particular room. Made some little changes since the last video. I added uh, two Diamondback Terrapins to this 130 gallon, or 125 gallon, I'm sorry, aquarium. And uh, as you can see, they're, they're currently basking. They're both just regular Northern DBTs. My two very, very two first DBTs I ever owned. And I'm using the canister filter on this one. And then I have the 120 gallon. I love these tanks, 48 by 24 by 24. They're really deep. Again, this one here has a pastel. Then we have two hypo translucent golden face. Hopefully, one is a male, one is a female. The other one is hiding down here behind the log. And also have a southern painted. And they're growing quite well. Got him for about the size of a dime. Oh, by the way, I do have a heat and cool unit in this particular room to keep the humidity down and keep the temperature where I want it. Works out real well. We come over here. Here's my hatchling tank. I did a separate video for. The clown turtle and the albino that's in this particular tank. You can check that out on YouTube. Again, here's the one, here's the drain in the bottom of the aquarium. I put a PVC drain on there so I can do water changes pretty quick and easy. Here's actually the 130 gallon. Diamondback Terrapin Blue Tone. That one's actually a male. It's old Andrea. We got our Chinese algae eater. And if you're looking for an algae eater, that's great. If you start them with your turtles when they're small, they don't really bother the algae eater. Man, do they ever keep the tank clean. Best dollar I ever spent. Here's a small, which looks like could end up being a male Blue Tone keeper. And then we'll come over here and we got the last blue tone. There's three of them in this aquarium. This is the female, I believe, for Andrea as well. And it looks like another algae eater and a quarry cat. I do got three baby cichlids in there. I'm going to tore down my 125 gallon cichlid tank. <clears throat> and then down here on the bottom, I have the, my tortoise pen I just recently built. Just purchased a cicada, Yoshi. That's his name. Thanks, Joslyn. She's named two of my last turtles. I got plastic plants in here, a couple sticks, and a little bit of terrain to crawl across. And a water dish there from the soak in. Looks like it's got sand all through it. And there's a cuddle bone. Give them a little calcium when they need it. He's only been eating uh, Missouri at this time. It's a commercial food, so seems to like it. And then back here in the back, we got the hideaway. There's some peat moss in there that's saturated with water. Keeps the area when he sleeps <clears throat> humid. Keeps the humidity up. It's very important to keep the humidity up on the, on the small hatchling tortoises. Um, very important while they're babies. It's important also when they grow up, but very critical now so at this stage but, and then you see I got a zoom ed double lamp here with a 100 watt heat light in there and also a UVB and we'll turn the corner here and this is my 150 gallon this has got a lot of deep diamondback turbines in it as you can see it's got a common basking platform <clears throat> tied into a 120 gallon, another 48 by 24. 
I used to have the 48 by 24 by 24. Both those tanks used to be twinned together, but I decided to separate them when I got the 150 and make room. I don't have any more room for any more big tanks. <laughs> My wife's going to kick me out if I decide to take up any more room. There's some more Diamondback Terrapins. Most of these are all sold. There's my 7 or 8 inch female. <clears throat> like I said, I put some put some ornaments in there. About all they do there is crawl under them and scratch their back on them. Just gives a, the aquarium a little bit of a look to it instead of just being bare bottom aquarium. Gives them something interesting. I'm sure it's quite, it's quite boring in there. <laughs> And my big old female back here, she is a keeper. That was my son's. We got her off kingsnake.com for 40 bucks. She apparently had a spot on her shelf, but that spot is no longer there. And she's probably one of the nicest ones I have. Very white. And that's about it. Right, let me get back down here. This is my Chinese algae eater I bought about two years ago. Huge. That thing is just massive, turned completely yellow. But it's not albino, it does not have red eyeball, right eyeballs, but uh, definitely cool. does not bother the turtles. You're wondering what these are. These are uh, PVC tubes. They're fo foam cord PVC, and they, they do float, so I had to put some heavy weights inside there to hold them down. The turtles do hang out in them, so just something, something to add to the tank. Um, again, I'm using canister filters on all my aquariums, most of the sun suns with UV lights. And then uh, somebody gave me two Aqua Clear 500s when I bought one of the tanks, so I just kind of run them on the back just for extra cleanup. They seem to work pretty well. And then we got this guy here, Baskin. Curious. It's pretty cool. That's what I like about Diamondback Terrapins. That was a slider. He'd have done that off that ramp three seconds ago. And again, I use the Sun Sun. Zoom head lamps. Well, that's about it for my turtle room. This here room here is a storage room. Eventually, will be turtles in there and turtle tanks. I just gotta wait till the kids move out and get uh, make some more room. <laughs> but there you have it. Hopefully, this video is a little better. I apologize for the first one, and I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for viewing. Have a good day.